All right, a couple more rounds. We're going to have tripling up these Withering Whales. See, there we go. See, we need Karma to make our Shadow Isle spells for us. Look at that Grasp Unspeakable. There we go. Dude, Karma is awesome. Now we got some spells. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thrash. We're going to be playing a control deck to start off today. We have, uh, I would say new Karma, but I guess it's really old Karma back. Now Karma costs five mana as it did originally, and then it was moved to six. Now it's back to five. And I don't think I've really tried out Karma since it's moved back to five. So I wanted to play um, a Karma control deck, Karma Thrash, and try it out with this new metagame. I'm not playing Go Hard. I know, like I've, I've, like the last few times I've played this kind of deck, we've been playing Go Hard, but I've been been thinking about it, and uh, we don't have lots and lots of card draw in here. And there's definitely times that Go Hard's like if you're not able to pack your bags, Go Hard can uh, really be a, a poor draw later on in the game and, and stuff like that. And so instead, I just want to play Unspeakable Horror over Go Hard, where it's you know Nightfall is creating those random Nightfall cards in hand. Um, you know, those can be really powerful if you get the, the right one. You can even get some Invoke cards with that. So I'm going to just try this Unspeakable unspeakable Horror instead. Wanted to play a Passage Unearned. <laughs> this is a card that, you know, I haven't put it in a deck before, but with Thralls being so good, I've I've been thinking about, like, just weird ways to deal with Thralls, and Passage Unearned is one, so I decided to put that in here. And since we're playing Shadow Isles, we get Ruination also, but I was thinking about playing Singular Will, uh, this could be pretty good against uh, against thralls also. So may maybe I should be playing a singular will, like where we like pick our th our karma or our thresh, and then like recall everything else, like recall all their landmarks and eight eights back to their hand. So I don't know, that's an option. Um, but decide, you know, like we're playing shadow Isles, we'll just play ruination. Uh, let's see, but yeah, we're just gonna be playing, you know, good cards. I think grass the undying is a very underrated card. It's gonna drain three withering will uh, heal. Three. And these are important with Karma because remember, Karma, when it's enlightened, doubles all of your spells. So, like, this is like drain six, right? Because you're draining three twice. Like, that's a lot of Nexus healing. This is healing your Nexus for six. We're going to have Tasty Faithful in here with the Lifesteal. We'll have Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horde that are draining. We're going to have Eye of the Dragon with the Draglings that can do Nexus healing. So, we're going to have lots of ways to do Nexus healing. We'll get a little bit of card advantage with Shadow Assassin and Deep Meditation. And besides that, just kind of try to stay alive, get enlightened, and have Karma take over. So I guess these games are probably going to be longer. We should probably get to it. Let's go play our five games in ranked. Yeah, no Go Get It in here. Go Get It is really nice with Rekindler. That's for sure. Yeah, just even with Karma in general, Go Get It's good, but... We should probably Mulligan Karma also. Passage Unearn would get rid of the Living Shadow. Nah, Thresh Pulling Karma's good. So unfortunately, that probably means Sivir, yeah, or Zed, something like that. Well, really hope no Twin Disciplines. No Twin Disciplines. Have Zed die. Man, Twin Disciplines is broken. Two mana twin disciplines, pretty broken. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. Let's 
Spell Shield is so annoying. <laughs> Spell Shield's pretty rough. Doombies. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. What is gained when you return malevolence? Just not too confident in <clears throat> in ruination. And like with them having so many cards in hand, they just rebuild and attack and kill me real fast. So they just have four cards we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, this is a really tough matchup for Control, for sure, with all the... the uh, oh, yeah, sure, why not? With all the um, spell shields running around. We're going to be, you know, good against... I think we're going to be good against the aggro decks that aren't Sivir Ruin Runner. I think Sivir Ruin Runner is the nightmare for us. Okay, so it looks like... I'm guessing this is a Yeti deck. So, Yeti Vi. I kind of like this hand. I like this. Hey, Stormy. Could also be Poros. Poros is another option. Okay, it looks like Poros. The order rewards its faithful. You cannot escape. Um. I don't know, Poros could be, like, without Poros Snacks, they're not too scary, no, but with Poros Snacks, like, this deck can be scary. Poros Snacks, uh, you know, makes it so, like, all these cards, Withering Whale, Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror, none of these cards do what I want them to do anymore now. So, yeah, Poros Snacks is definitely the most important card, and they have had it to Poros Snacks, unfortunately. That's going to make my life a lot more difficult. is also just pretty difficult to deal with. 
Where there is life, there is hope. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. If I'm them, I probably pass also. Okay. Yeah, Poro Snacks was definitely the best card. Unfortunately, they got a lot of Poro Snacks. Already their third one, and they got another one in hand. It's gonna make life really difficult. Peace has its cost. Okay, I like that. After Wizard, thanks for that resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, After Wizard. Okay, good. That worked out well. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Where there is life, there is hope. You're definitely gonna need some hope, Karma. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do have nine cards in hand. So we're not burning one. If I pass. Dang. We've had every single, every single one of those. So I've had all three of their Poro Snacks plus an Aurora Porealis making two more Poro Snacks. Yeah, 26. It's too bad. Well, they got their they got every single copy of the best card they could have for us next. It's too bad. Does passage work on that? Wait, does passage work on that? Play combine all of them into the fluff to the poros. Oh, it would have worked. All right, I guess passage under would have worked there. Yeah, I conceded too quickly instead of thinking about it. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, and y'all in chat were t telling me to play Passage on Earn 2, and I just, I missed it. My bad. I should have looked over at chat. So we're playing against Zoe Leeson. And keep Shadow Assassin and Thresh.
Pass. No! Round one's always, always. Uh, something you don't want to see. Blind. Hopefully they only get one hit in against me because of us having the Shadow Assassin. worth it. Man, they're being patient. Gotta imagine it's gonna be a Lee Sin right here. Um, it is time. Them being so patient. Gotta imagine they're setting up Lee Sin plus protection. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Of course, I have the dragon and thresh work well together because whenever like all the draglings die, that does help level up thresh. I mean, I just don't really care about that thing being a four four, do I? I guess I do. No. I don't know. I guess not. They had 10 cards in hand, so they were going to be burning their top card. I just went ahead and passed. And of course, we're getting closer to Enlightened with Karma. To double up all these spells, which would be pretty nice. Everything's on the stack. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Our unspeakable horrors are going to be great. So we have all these things doubled up. Don't really need to... Like, I could kill the Mentor of the Stones, and so therefore it doesn't support onto the Zoe, but I think we're okay with all this, I think. I think we're still okay. Rude. Even more rude. I don't, 
I haven't been happy with Nopify. I don't I don't think there's enough good targets for Nopify right now in the metagame. I, just, I think that it, yeah, recently whenever I've been playing Nopify, I haven't been impressed with it. Okay, where's Zoe at? Zoe's at eight. You only have one card. Okay. I didn't want them to get the gems to be able to heal Zoe. Thrush. You see, but you cannot All right, we got both champs leveled up. Could have used the rush to stop the, you know, to have the Thrush take less damage from the Zoe. But. Okay. Leeson can win them the game. The so they have two other cards I don't know about. Obviously, the four cards I do know about can't be played right now. Okay, good. All right, that'll do. Got to win, Karma Thresh. Got to level up our Karma. Mark, so it'd only get rid of the like it would just put the 8-8 back in their hand. So yeah, Wheel of Ina doesn't bounce landmarks like Homecoming does. Alright, I'm gonna keep by the Dragon Eye the Dragon Tasty Faith Folk. Even though we don't really have the two spells to enable Eye the Dragon, it's still a one mana one three. And I'll just take one mana one threes. We can passage unearned the powder keg. The gangplank puts into play. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. <laughs> passage unearned is good against Pike. They use Death from Below and put Spike into play. The bold. The spirit gives to those who listen. To get rich. So against the aggro deck, we've drawn zero of our Shadow Isle spells. Shadow you know, zero Vile Feast, Withering Whale, Grass the Undying, Unspeakable Horror. It's not fantastic. Because if they have another misfortune, then my Tasty Fate Folk doesn't get to block. 
So I'm just gonna try to trade her away here and heal my Nexus for four. Yeah. So I've got two counteract, but Tasty People kind of counteracted that decimate. I'm still, I'm never gonna play two spells in a round since we <laughs> draw it. All of our units. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Axe? We've drawn eight units. Our deck has 16 units. <laughs> all right. So we found all of our units. I'm still going to just pass right here. Okay. I was worried about Gangplank. Just do I, Am I playing? So I'm going to play Thresh as the box. It's just then, do I play Tasty Fae Folk or Karma? I guess it's we'll Karma, because Karma can give me the free spells. The cost. That could be pretty cool. I'll do better this time. I'm expecting Noxion Fervor. <laughs> Welcome, coming here. Uh, coming here from YouTube. Glad to have you over here. Hang out and chat with everybody. Everybody's super nice in chat. Cool. That is kind of exactly what I wanted. That is exact, because that's not going to my Nexus. Yeah, that kills Karma, but now Thresh is leveled up. Thresh will put a Karma into play. I'll rekindle, like, they kind of couldn't, they had to kill the Thresh. So I, I had that Karma as bait to, like, hope that they did exactly what they're doing right now. I'm just going to kill this thing. I'd rather kill the Crackshot Corsair, but I didn't want their, them to have the 2-3 block the Karma, but whatever. They can have a 2-3 block Karma. It's fine. Your path ends here. Be nothing left when I'm done. Return to us. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. All right, a couple more rounds. We're going to have tripling up these Withering Whales. See, there we go. See, we need Karma to make our Shadow Isle spells for us. Look at that Grasp Unspeakable. There we go. Dude, Karma is awesome. Now we got some spells. Let's get it, crew. Now we got some spells. I'm just going to pass. Gangplank's like the only thing I'm really scared of right now. So keeping Vengeance open for Gangplank. Okay, not too scared of that. I'll go ahead and just grasp this thing. Get more nexus damage. Hello. 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 Oh, more vengeance. And a black spear. That's useful. There we go. All right, GGs. See, that's the kind of deck that I think we're going to be very good against. With all the Nexus healing that we have and the life steals and stuff like that. Not your Ruin Runner. So two and two and really could be three and one if I knew how Passage Runner worked. Could really be three and one. Okay, Misfortune Sejuani. So again, we'll have our Vengeance for Sejuani. Hopefully have removal for the smaller stuff. So I... I kinda wanna keep the vengeance. I could send it back, but like Sejuani is such a pain. I guess we send it back though. Cause it's really just for one card in their deck. And it's not gonna be for a while. No. I would rather have the vengeance over these deep meditations. The dead don't need riches. Uh oh. Nab cards are really good against us because we're like slow and have like a whole bunch of removal. They can nab our removal. Uh, I do not like seeing nab cards. It's a good, good hand for them, right? Good one, two, three. That's for sure. Um.
Yeah, our hand's not so good. <laughs> Passage under not really doing anything in this matchup. Deep meditations are super slow. They had a really good hand though. Because Black Market Merchant's great against us. Yeah, they had a great hand. I felt pretty good about this until I realized they were playing all these nab cards. All these nab cards I do not like seeing one bit. That's a good turn for us. That's a lot of mana they wasted, and we got to stabilize again. Uh, well, it was a good turn for us a little bit ago. They got some really good cards against control. All this, you know, a bunch of nab and rift Rex. Alright, so my plan's Ruination, and then Eye of the Dragon, then Unspeakable Horror, and then we should have the two spells for the Eye of the Dragon Dragling. Good deck to nab. <laughs> we are a good deck to nab. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. I was forged by wind. You own what you take. Oh gosh. Oh man. Yeah, what a turn. I was fine with everything until then. Okay, so this kills the Faithful. One to me, so I'm at nine. Attack out. Uh, I vengeance this thing. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's eat more time. Down to three. It's not very much life. Not with warning shots over there. My 
My spirit is an unquenchable fire. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So they got two warning shots, I'm dead, but of course they could have just killed me with two warning shots right now. Yeah, I think I have to do this too. Alright, so I have to grasp Island Navigator because it, it would allow both grasps to happen if I if I target grasp the undying on anything else. Okay, if that's something that does damage, I'm obviously dead. Good play. Yeah. Very good hand for our opponent. All sorts of nab, and they nabbed great cards too. So I only did go two and three. I think I'm, I'm like king of the two threes these days. <laughs> That's my record with all my decks. I should have been three and two, most likely, if I would have cast my Passage on Nerd on the Poro. My bad on that. And then, uh, yeah, that last one was a close one. I I think that, uh, you know, we'd have a good chance against, you know, like aggro decks, I think in general, are going to be pretty good matchups, but they had a lot of nab, and nab's pretty awesome in that matchup. And then... You know, that Riptide Rex was clutch. They had a lot of just things really lined up for them. And then, of course, they, they had the great curve of, like, one drop into Black Market Merchant, into Misfortune. Where, like, yeah, so everything kind of worked out for them. Anyway, I think this is... I, I do think this is probably pretty good right now, though. Like, with all the... Like, with just, like, the matchups that, that you have in general. Just, like, the popular decks. Um, I think that... Uh, that Sivir Ruin Runner. I think that's something that's going to be a problem. And that's going to be difficult... To defeat and so uh but besides that i think the other four games were pretty winnable and just i think most matchups in general that people are playing these days are pretty winnable like what what's really good against this kind of deck is targon invoke and people just aren't playing targon invoke right now so that's one thing that's really good against it yes the uh the spell shield is also very good against it but there's not a lot of other things that are great against it like nab is but not very many people are playing nab we did run into an opponent playing nab um but yeah so nab targon invoke and a bunch of spell shield like those are kind of the the things that you have to worry about and if you think about it like that's not very big of a percentage of what the metagame currently is so i think that this could be a, a well positioned um control deck and i like the card choices here with grass withering whale i know they're a little bit more expensive i know it looks like it's a lot of fives but i do think it's worth it and um yeah i wanted to see it against lurk also yeah i wanted to, to see how we do against lurk um, you know, Lurk's a lot more, as a lot, as a very popular deck. Wanted to see how we did against both Lurk and Thralls. I think Lurk and Thralls are the two most, uh, um, two most popular decks right now. We didn't get to play against either. Instead, we played against people with the <laughs> spell shields and the nabs that are good, good, good against us. But I think this could be a well positioned deck. I like the Tasty Fate folks in there. They, they performed very well. Passage on Earned is for both of those two very popular matchups with Thralls and Pike. Um, you do have to worry about uh, the 4-5 Draklorn Inquisitor with the Thralls, because Draklorn will pop the uh, Thralls at end of round, and therefore Passage on Earned will not work against Draklorn. So you have to, you know, so they got to be using their Thralls on other stuff that are not, uh, you know, Passage on Earned, or yeah. Yeah, Passage Earned has to be not Draklorn. I don't know. Y'all can figure out what I'm talking about. <laughs> My words are weird. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Karma was impressive. Karma looked good. Uh, the, you know, creating that extra spell each round, like that coming down round five is definitely a big deal. That's a big difference. Um, and uh, yeah, doubling up everything is incredible. All right, we'll go ahead and go on to the next deck, but... Um, I think this this one's a well positioned deck with the metagame. We just we did run into two tough matchups with Nab and Spell Shield, and I messed up one game that I didn't realize Passage on Earn would have saved me. But besides that, I think our, our deck is well positioned. Anyway, that's gonna be it here for Karma Thresh. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.